Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm not actually going to build something, but rather enable others to help with the build and maintenance process. I now have quite a few things built on my safety application, and there's more to be done. But before I get to that, the safety department has volunteered to help, which is good because my development team has a lot of work in the backlog. Thankfully, I can use delegated development to, quote, deputize non-admin developers to specific parts of this application. As in the previous videos, I'll go into Studio, open up my application, and this time go to File, Manage Developers. This is the place where I can specify who can do what to this application. I can add people individually or entire groups. Managing groups may be easier as people are added and removed from groups. They will automatically get the proper roles added and deleted. For now, let's take Luke Wilson and give him access to create reports as well as basic table and form changes. Since he knows the process pretty well, he can add a checkbox or a choice list here or there as needed. When I save, it provides Luke with the proper roles to make the report, table, and form changes on the safety application. He cannot change scripts, ACLs, or anything else, nor make changes to other applications. Luke will have to log out and log in to recognize the newly applied roles. Because Luke is a developer, he now has access to Studio, so he opens that. And he opens the safety application, like I did, with admin rights. The list displays only those apps that Luke is entitled to. In this case, the safety app is the only app, so he chooses that. Luke needs to add a checkbox to the issue table to indicate if this is a project. So he opens the table and uses the design form link to show the form designer. And under the field types, he locates the true false field type and drags it to the form. Gives it a label and name project and saves his work. Now Luke checks his work. And there's his new project field. That took Luke about 60 seconds instead of putting in a dev request, waiting until my team prioritized it, create the field, publish the task, Luke finds out it wasn't quite what he wanted. That could take days or even weeks. Also, keep in mind that Luke made his change in the dev instance, so IT still has governance and control over reviewing the work, source control, and publishing into the release schedule. If you want to learn more about delegated development, visit the link here on the product documentation page. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.